Howard Schultz has now said he would not run as an independent if the Democrats moderate, uh, nominate oh, a moderate. Oh, isn't that nice? Why is Howard Schultz on every television station in this country? Why are you quoting Howard Schultz? Because he's a billionaire. Oof, he's back. Not that he ever left, but now it's official. Bernie Sanders is running for president in 2020. And his campaign announcement was quintessentially Bernie, with absolutely no frills or sentimental stories about his mom or dad or pet fish, but about his policy platform, a policy platform filled with issues that he personally forced into the national conversation when the corporate media wouldn't listen. Bernie Sanders' health care for all idea is gaining steam. Free tuition, free college tuition, free tuition champion, Senator Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders added, the greatest threat to national security is climate change. The future of our planet is at stake. As his ad illustrates, Senator Bernie Sanders has been quite busy since he lost the Democratic nomination after admitted heavy interference by the DNC and Democratic elite. He introduced the Stop Bezos Act, successfully pressuring Amazon to raise its minimum wage to $15 an hour, and he did the same thing with Disney. He introduced Medicare for All, with 16 Senate Democratic co-sponsors, including many fellow presidential candidates, just one year after Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton said it would, quote, never ever happen. But this isn't something new. This isn't a posture that Bernie has adopted since his voice became amplified by his candidacy in 2016. This is just who he is. It's who he was when he was getting arrested in Chicago in 1963 when he was protesting with the civil rights movement. It's who he was as the mayor of Burlington, Vermont in the 1980s saying the exact same things almost word for word that he does today. To me, what socialism means is democracy means doing away with a system where 1% of the population owns half of the wealth, where the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. And his clear, bold platform is a direct reflection of that. Per the excellent Jeff Stein of the Washington Post, Bernie's platform includes Medicare for all, the Green New Deal, $15 an hour minimum wage, tuition-free public colleges and universities, a $800 billion 10-year plan that would be mostly paid for by a Wall Street transaction tax, which would raise $600 billion, criminal justice overhaul, including legalizing marijuana, ending private prisons, and reducing cash bail, paid family leave and gender pay equity, breaking up the biggest Wall Street banks. Unlike candidates like, say, Amy Klobuchar, this platform is bold. And I can't emphasize this enough. It's not just bold for show. It's who he truly is. Because if you thought 2016 was hard and that the establishment did everything in their power to smear him, like when the Washington Post wrote 16 negative articles about him in 16 hours, wait till you get a load of 2020 when he is the presumptive front runner as the most popular politician in the country. He's even more terrifying to them because his ideas have actually gained steam. Medicare for all polls at over 70% popularity, 60% support college for all. Some polls show an over 80% support for a green New Deal. And guess what? Bernie has already raised $1 million from small donors in less than four hours since his campaign launch. So they're right to be terrified. Look who's the front runner now. <laughs>